Ten years ago today, the King's Bastion Leisure Centre was inaugurated by then Chief Minister Sir Peter Caruana. It was the culmination of two years of extensive restoration and refurbishment works to the historic bastion and the building of the modern structure inside and around it. The old King's Bastion started generating electricity in 1897 and these days generates electricity of a different kind. In 2005, the demolition of the old generating station got underway, the end of an era for many who had worked there and considered the building a local landmark. In its place, a facility that the then GSD administration said would become the focal point for leisure and recreation on the rock. Soon after it opened, locals were able to enjoy the ice skating rink and King's Bowl, novelties for the rock at the time. Other amenities came later. Speaking to the director of the leisure centre, he told me it gets busy at different times of the year, but that there's always something happening. And he still remembers opening day vividly. Well, I remember it well. It's, it was an unforgettable experience, getting everything ready on the day. There was last-minute hiccups. Uh, it was amazing. I remember clearly the faces of the children waiting by the front gate just to, to come in. The moment the, the doors were open, the whole centre was flooded and for the first couple of weeks really, there was people all, all over. It was really, really full. What, what gets used more, for example? Well, the, the, thing that the, the area that, that gets most used is the fitness gym. We have uh, very high membership levels. Uh, through the years, we've brought in new equipment. Uh, in the ice rink, we have the Ice Skating Association who, who does coaching for the kids. And through the years, we've, we've seen uh, young local uh, children really becoming really good at ice skating and competing in, in competitions abroad, which is, which is really good. On the bowling side as well, the, the bowling, we have the, the local bowling association as well. We do um, international tournaments uh, nearly every year. So I think all the areas are do, used by different groups, but I think it's used. It's a, a, a family entertainment center for all ages and for, for everybody, really. Where does the leisure center go from here? Well, we really, this year is going to be a very busy year for us. We have the Island Games coming next year, and bowling is one of the events for the Island Games. So we, we, we are now putting together a project to completely revamp the, the bowling facility. Uh, we also have a new thing that's coming this year, which is a cashless uh, card system for using within the center. Similar to the wristbands that you have in the music festivals, you'll be able to uh, get a card from the kiosk, top it up with uh, money either in the kiosk or at home or online with your credit card, and you can use it. Uh, there'll be swipe readers on all the machines in the arcade, bowling, ice cream and gym, and it's an all-round card. So that's a new innovation that's coming this year. Now, while the Leisure Centre opened on the 28th of February 2008, the Leisure Cinemas came later. I spoke to the managing director who told me that while the concession stand was visible, it wasn't yet operating, as films were shown later on in October. I also asked her about the benefits of showing films in the new venue. We opened in October because there had been some um, design faults and, and things that needed to be put right. Um, so we had to wait until October, but I remember that we were terribly pressured by government of the day that we had to have our concession stand ready. So that was done in all of uh, a week and a half, I think it was. So that was ready in February. But we opened in October and uh, we closed one week at the Queen's and opened the next here. So it meant a lot of changes. Tell me about the added pressure of a new, of a new building in the last uh, decade since you've been operating. Well, we, we opened in 2008 and uh, we moved to digital in 2014. From digital, it opens a brand new world. We have all the live events as well, which are doing very well. The secret is to maximize the use of the cinema and the hours that we have the cinema up and running. It's great to be able to offer um, screenings for the hearing impaired um, and so on, and, and, and the sensory screenings. That is very, um, personally, is a great satisfaction to be able to do that. We believe that everyone is entitled to enjoy the cinema experience. So whether it's a trip to the movies or the gym, perfecting your bowling skills, giving it a go on the ice, or like the many organizations who benefit from using the facilities, it's fair to say that the King's Bastion Leisure Centre has become and continues to be the focal point for leisure and recreational activities on the rock, with innovations on the horizon for the next 10 years and more.